Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. One. Thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but. But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second. You look so worried. Oh, baby. 
always the clock is ticking. And I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are gonna help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Thinking about them isn't gonna help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too, nah. then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Oh, Odin. Do the right thing. In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? What her odds are if she ends up going into... Do the right thing. In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? What her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo. Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam.
You say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. I I'll can't um. Everybody went along with us. I'll head downstairs and get I started on. Oh my so, God. Okay. Now we actually have to build. Hey. Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non need to figure out how to do everything as quickly as possible. Great. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head downstairs. Lord, I didn't expect them to either. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Okay. Evie! 
Hey, Evie. Hey, um, I know you're all like gung ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. More ways than one. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could- VT's not fucking coming, Clive. VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie, I don't want to be realistic with you. Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've, we've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. Oh, Evie. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. Where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops!
Odin, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt pillows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted with each step. Do you see? See what is in front of you. As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. I want to make sure that I Okay, Evie, I Hello on something. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, sure. Hey, yeah. Are, are you okay? Evie! Hey! Nope, I'm hey. not. Das Evie, are, are you okay? Nope, I'm not. Do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I. This is all crazy. But you said you. I know. What was I supposed to say? You all. You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo, just for the privilege... Well, some of us do. Andrew, I... 
I don't know what to say. Bert and Matt need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm gonna be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... Give me a little time. Hey, Odin? Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... I just want to go home. I understand. <sighs> do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, alright? Of course. Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours in anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. Thank you. 
excuse me. <laughs>